Let's say hi to uh, a friend of the show. Uh, of course, he was your point guard of the World Champion Rockets of 1994 and 1995. Now, Kenny, we had a reunion of the 30-year 94 championship, and you had to do it on video. It's time to get your ass in Houston, Texas. Come celebrate with us for the 95. What do you say about that? Well, I, I, I love on the time, don't make like I don't come to Houston now. I, just I know. Come, I'm just kidding. I just come that day. I just didn't come that day. I'm a, one of my best friends is the athletic director at uh, TSU, so I'm always at Texas Southern. I'm actually coming back for the big thing that they're doing uh, next month. So, no, I'm I'm I, I'm Houston is still home, brother. I we tease because we care. Hey, you're involved in soccer now. What were you always a soccer guy? And how are you getting involved with the Abbott and, and the folks at that the clinic you had in New York? Well, no, I'm not. I haven't always involved in soccer. I've been a fan from afar. But you know, I was down with uh, Abbott and Real Madrid, and we trained with the Real Madrid coaches and did a whole bunch of challenges and, and drills. And then we played a game and. Um, I would say I wasn't the MVP, but I could have been co-MVP. I was a goalie, and I was pretty doggone good. And you, if you if you don't believe it, I posted a lot of it on the videos on my Instagram. So just go to my Instagram. I posted them up. You will see me also drinking a lot of that Insure Max protein drink. It's like 30 grams of protein. So I was like dousing that down because I was exhausted. But – I was pretty good, man. I was pretty good. What was your keeper style? Are you like a sweeper keeper? Are you a ball distributor or a distributor or just a oh shot Oh, my stopper? God. Don't answer that question. <laughs> no, no. I'm going to I'm gonna be honest. You know what I thought of, honestly, as a goalie? Because at, most of those most of the celebrities and influence and form, they could play a little bit. I was like, okay, think of every ball coming at me as a bad pass. Yeah. And so I thought of it as a bad pass. So I was decent. Like, I was like. Oh, it's coming over there. That's a bad pass. Go get that. That's another bad. Go get that. So there it was. So I, I, I had my basketball mind as I was going there playing goalie. All right. We're going to talk more about that in a little bit because I know that it's very important to you with working with Abbott and obviously Max Protein and all that. But let's get to what has turned out to be a, a very interesting summer for you and your broadcast cohorts. What? <laughs> so I, I'm, I've said this before, Kenny. Uh, first of all, I was I was your re-announcer during the championship days. Love that. I've talked to you over the years here and there. Your show, and you've heard this from other people, so I'm not blowing smoke where it hasn't been blown before, but bottom line is the inside of the NBA is the greatest television program in sports in the history of sports, and people want to know what's going to be like in a couple of years. Do you have any sort of answer at this point, or at least any sort of insight of the future of inside the NBA after next season? Well, it's interesting. I've been all over the world, man, and I hear that same question. I've been to Abu Dhabi. I've been to Europe. I've been to Miami. I've been to New York. They're like, what's going on with the show? Everyone asks me that same exact question. And for me, I feel a little bit like LeBron, when he, his year when you got to like eventually make an announcement, we're taking our talent too. And if you're still with WBD, which is Turner, TNT, that, that would be fine. Uh, but if it's somewhere else, I think the one thing that the four of us have, and I don't take this lightly, and this is really serious, we have the opportunity collectively, if we move collectively, to create one of the most monumental sports movements in sports television history, where we can make sure that the producers, directors, stats, audio, visual, everyone is still employed. Like, no one else, before we just really highly paid talent, we have an opportunity, possibly, through all of the calls that I'm getting, to make television history again. And that, to me, is more important to make sure that the people that really helped us get to where we are are still part of that. I'm sure I'm sure those guys appreciate that. You have talked about that, you and Ernie and the whole crew at, at Nauseam about that. Wherever you go, wherever that may be, you got to bring the big screen with you because, my man, you just can't sit in that studio spot in that same chair. You got to you got to run to talk. You got to look at that whatever you call that big big wall behind you. You've got to have a big wall as part of your new deal wherever it, you may it's go. So, it's so interesting things like you saying that a part of the fabric of sport now that like if anyone goes or runs to the board, they may all that's Kenny. If anyone, if anyone like does like things when people, when players mess up, they go back in the fool. Like they, it, it's so embedded in the fabric that we have to continue to be part of the NBA. And I'm excited. Again, if the four of us move together, it's going to be something, or stay together. 
at WBD. It will be something so monumental that no one has ever seen ever in sports history television. Well, I hope it does, whatever the com- whatever the new formation is. Let's get a quick thought about the Rockets. Uh, sh- the win total, again, Vegas ain't everything, Kenny, but the win total is supposed to go up again this year, which hopefully is the case as I'm calling the games on the radio. But the problem on is the problem is the West is so ridiculously loaded. How can the Rockets crack that top 10 or maybe top 8? I mean, are we looking for a Clipper demise? Are we looking for the Lakers to, to take a step back? The Warriors maybe? Where where can the Rockets slither into a potential playoff spot this year? They, they slide into the playoffs spot if they don't worry about someone else sliding. And they have to just improve because they've done a great job in, in, in improving um, – you know, and, and shout out to Louise Nelson with the Rockets. You know, he's done a great job. And Raphael and uh, all of those guys, Raphael Stone, like they've done a great job of like really, Raphael, they just putting the team together, you know, because they were like, there was some, some issues. Should we, you know, should we bring in Ime? Should we bring in a veteran like you know, point guard. Should we bring in Dylan Brooks? And all of those things have se- seemingly propelled them into a better team. So shout out to the executives at the Rockets for doing a hell of a job of uh, putting that together. Uh, and, and not making like, – I said this two years ago. Someone asked me. I said, oh, yeah, they're talented young players, but I don't know if they're a talented team, young team. Last year they were a talented team, not just talented players. Makes a lot of sense because they are becoming a team. And I don't know if you know Ime at all, but I, I have certainly a lot of respect for him. And how we, the Rockets went from, you know, 20 wins to 41 was an incredible coaching performance. And obviously, Fred Van Vliet and Dylan Brooks coming in here was a huge part of that. Two last things. One, is Charles going to make any Galveston references during the next NBA season? Well, if he doesn't, I'd be surprised. Of course he is. He's going to, you know, Charles is always going to say the unexpected. And Galveston, I still like the area of Galveston, so it's not me. It's all Chuck. <laughs> good, because I want you to hit him next time. Seriously, it's not good. And, <laughs> and lastly, where can people find out about the soccer clinic with uh, Real Madrid that you were involved with? Where can they find it? Well, you can just go to my Instagram, and you're going to really see, you know, everything that I've done with uh, Abbott and Real Madrid, how I train with the coaches. You're going to see me. You and me with the 30 grams of protein from Insure Max, and you'll know what that's about. Um, you know, it, it's just going to be, you just go to Instagram and, you, and you're going to see it. And there's a lot of bloopers. So <laughs> you'll see that too. Kenny, great hearing your voice, my man. Good luck this season. Good luck, most importantly, with the future of the program. And you're always welcome to come on in Houston, promote anything you want to get to because we love having you on the show. All right. Thanks a lot, brother. We'll see. That's Kenny Smith with us here on. The Matt Thomas Show. Appreciate Kenny spending a few minutes with us. And again, everybody's doing soccer now, Ross. Even Kenny the Jet. Yeah.